So welcome to this second part of the video uh, about this past paper question about reciprocal function. Eh? So uh, again, credit goes to Cambridge Examinations for making this question. We are just here together to solve it. And in part one, we uh, we graphed the reciprocal function. Eh? We said, well, for those five points, three of them is just by plotting the coordinates correctly. You get one point if you realize that x cannot be zero, so your graph consists out of two parts, eh? so please do not connect it. And your th uh, fifth point has also one point is for the actual drawing the curve, yeah? And on a tablet I said it's quite difficult, so that's not very accurate. Yeah? I should actually re erase that eh? on uh, paper and with a pencil. But uh, anyway, that's the best uh, I can do on a tablet. Okay, but now we're going to continue. We have another nine points to earn, three, three, and uh, this is also three points. So loads of points um, to be earned for this particular question. And the first one is, well, use your graph, yeah, so this is my graph. I'm going to use it to solve fx equals um, minus three. And just uh, to make sure, because I don't see it anymore, to write down the function, yeah, so the reciprocal function fx equals 1 over x minus x squared, and x cannot be a 0. Yeah, that was the function given in the question. Uh, but I've got to use my graph to solve it for minus 3. fx is minus 3. And if you remember in the past, you would uh, write um, y equals uh, 2x plus 5. But now we say f at a function where x is the variable. Uh, but that is still the y coordinate, if you like. Eh? And now they say it's minus 3. So draw the line y equals minus 3. By the way, I'm looking for one, two, three solutions. And that could be a hint as well. Draw the line y equals minus 3. Now I have this tiny princess uh, ruler here for my daughter. Um, I hope it's going to be accurate enough. No, I'm going to go a little bit down. Okay, I'm trying the best I can, guys, on my tablet. But yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, that's the line y equals minus 3. Yeah, and it asks me, when is that line minus 3 the same as my graph, as my function? Well, that is over here, that's over there, and it's over there. There, it's the same. You see, that's going to give me my 1, 2, 3 solutions. Okay, so what are the values of x? Then I, again, I take my little tiny ruler, and I go up, that's one solution. And over here, you should be very accurate doing this, okay? So this is not... This, this doesn't look accurate, yeah, but that, that's my princess um, ruler on my tablet. I apologize. And that is a solution. That's my three solutions. So um, let me see. Properly look at the skill. Huh? That's very important, of course. So what is this one? Well, each block is 0.1. So if I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So minus... 1.6 and of course you have a certain region in which answers are acceptable yeah but that region is very small okay so you've got to be quite accurate the next one uh, so that is going to be here and that is one two yeah four so minus 0 0.4 that's going to be your solution and the third solution over here now that is a horrible line but that's going to be 1.9 i believe 1.9 it is 1.9, my three solutions. Good, continuing, they say, well, by drawing a suitable line on your graph, solve the equation, where is my graph 2x minus two, yeah? So the graph, where is it the same by 2x minus two? And they tell me I have to draw a suitable line. And 2x minus two is a line, yeah? That's a, um, a linear function, 2x minus two. So I could make a table of values or I realize the y coordinate, or sorry, the y intercept is minus two, so that's a coordinate. Well, when x is one, um, y is going to be zero. When x is two, two times two is four, minus two, it is going to be two. And now I should do that accurately like that. And indeed, the three points, the three coordinates are on um, one line. And again, I'm looking for one, two, three solutions there. Yeah, because some of you, unfortunately, and again, this is my princess uh, ruler, when they draw the line, they stop here. Yeah, they think they're done. And then they say, well, I have one solution here, here they're the same, and a solution there, they're the same. Yeah, but they're asking for three solution, guys, and that line is not long enough extended yeah, continue. Ah, there's number three. There we go. A one, a two, a three. Good. So what are the exact values? Now, again, I go up 
Oh dear, I can't see that. Well, anyway, I hope you get the idea. Yeah, so I have to go up. I'm going to sneak in the... Oh, come on, princess. Princess ruler, yeah? I'm going to sneak uh, and have a look at the ant ski in a minute for that one. I can't see it. I have a solution here, and I have a solution over there, yeah? So, uh, minus 2.6, if you do that accurately on paper and with a pencil. Um, the other one, uh, for me, that will be minus 0 0.3. That's a zero. And uh, for X is one, okay? They're the same, yeah? So there are three solutions. Okay. Thirdly, by drawing a suitable tangent, yeah, work out an estimate of the gradient of the curve at the point where X is minus two. Now, what is a tangent? A tangent is a touch line, yeah? It's a line that just touches the graph, yeah? So it doesn't cut the graph or, or it doesn't miss the graph, no. It just touches the graph at a particular point, at point x minus 2. They want me to draw it, okay? So I'll do it in red, and uh, I'll do the best I can again. Um, uh, you know, on a tablet, it's not the easiest thing, trust me. Uh, at x minus 2, I'm going to draw a tangent. Well, I'm just going to draw it now, and that's going to be it. I don't think it's really, really good, yeah? But anyway, at x minus 2, um, it should just be barely touching uh, the graph, yeah? Anyway, this is my tangent, yeah? It's touching it over there. Um, and then I have to calculate the gradient. Now, the gradient is rise over run, yeah? Uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, yeah? It is anyway the difference in the y direction over the difference in the x direction. So what do I need? I need two points, and then I can calculate it, yeah? So easy points, well, this is an easy point over here because that is the point is zero, 04. And can I find another easy point to work with? Well, um, this one is not too bad, is it? What is that? And it's, this has got to be accurate, guys. That's minus 1.1, minus 1.10, okay? Um, so delta y, delta x. So the difference in the y direction goes from 4 to 0. Yeah, so 4 minus zero over, and x goes from zero minus minus 1.1, yeah? And please note that it is a positive gradient, so I'm looking for a positive number, so no silly mistakes, please. Four divided by 1.1. Now, I gotta cheat a little bit, well, cheating, because it is late. I'm just trying to help my friends around the world, but I don't have a calculator here. So, four divided by 1.1. Thank you, Mr. Computer. It tells me 4.4 .4 equals 4.4. .4. So that would be my gradients. Now, to be honest, that is that answer is just outside of the accept, uh, acceptable region according to the answer key. Yeah? Your answer should actually be, be between three and a quarter and four and a quarter. And why is my answer uh, not good enough? That is because my tangent is not accurate enough. Yeah, and I blame that. Um, to my uh, princess ruler, which is a beautiful ruler, by the way, but um, not very accurate, yeah? So, on pen, or sorry, on paper and with a pen, so I should do a better job. However, showing all these workings, yeah, drawing the tangent will give me already two out of the three points, okay? Now, I should have been a little more accurate, be a little bit more accurate, so uh, that's my third point. But trust me, on paper, I will be. Now, hopefully that was useful for you. Yeah, this is reciprocal functions and answering all sorts of questions about it. Yeah, nine points here. Graphing the function was uh, five points. Yeah, so that's 14. And completing the table of values was another three points. Yeah, so we're talking about, what is that? 17 points, 17 points, guys. And uh, you should get at least 15 of them yeah, because it's not difficult. I know you can do it, yeah, just make sure you're accurate, yeah, and that you take pride out of, out of your work, um, yeah, just do a proper job. Okay, well, all the best, uh, check my site, explainingmaths.com, if you need some more resources, okay, because it's all for free and there for you to use, yeah, I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.